Hey guys, uh, this is the 696 baby, or you can call me Ali. And uh, today we'll be making Project uh, Virus, and uh, I will show you what we what exactly we'll be making. And as you can see, here I have my text. Uh, it says 696, and if I render it for you, it looks like this. It's definitely not as my Project uh, Virus. If I play it for you. You can see it have so much particles over here. It's different than the one over here, but it's because just for the sake of this tutorial, I made the particles uh, twenty thousand or not ten thousand. But in the final render, you can put more. It's really up to you. So if I play for you, here you can see my text. It's actually, you know, uh, it looks like some virus attacking your tags and make it, uh, you know dissolve it or something and it's moving and you get this look in the end uh, so I will show you how you can create this and the first thing you want to do is you're gonna find the link in the description and this is for the people who use 11.5 uh, I mean R12 sorry I don't use 11.5 I use uh, R12 um, and you're gonna find the link in the, in the description you can download the and open the project and you're gonna find the right setting uh, render setting for you uh, and you're gonna get one hair material and that's it everything set for you beside the uh, these uh, in the object uh, uh, in the object uh, editor whatever you wanna call it uh, so yeah let's just uh, jump ahead and create a new scene so I'm just gonna close this one and I guess this one too that was early practicing anyway so yeah so the first thing you wanna do is grab uh, my graph uh, text which is uh, you go to my graph and grab mu text in R12 that's what it's called and you wanna write uh, whatever you want so I'm just gonna say uh, 696 you can write whatever you want it's really up to you and I'm gonna change the font. Uh, I mean, I'm liking this font. Uh, I don't know what it's called. Seriously, it's you can't read it very well, but uh, it's really have this nice look to it. This kind of alien space, whatever look. And I'm gonna change the depth and make it to 70. And that's about it. That's good. So I'm just gonna make it editable. And right click, select children, and again make it editable right click select children again right click connect and delete and now you want to select your te uh, your object and go to functions and go to optimize and just click once optimize alright that's looking good that's looking good and now we need uh, a plane so just grab a plane and resize it sorry I meant to resize it just make it around, I don't know, 600, 600 for the width and height, and you'll be good to go. Alright, so let's uh, rotate the plane. Uh, let's say 50 degrees, minus 50 degrees. And just hit apply. And what you want to do is just reside the width to 800 maybe what you want to do now is move the plane to the left side like so and add a keyframe let's change our timeline to 300 or if you want more it's really up to you so we are going to add a keyframe at uh, 0 and move to frame uh, say 60 for example add another keyframe and then move to frame 150 and move the plane the other side like so and add another keyframe so what's gonna happen is this plane gonna go through of, through my text and you'll see why like so 
Uh, don't worry about this overshot. I will show you how to fix it right now. Just select uh, all of your uh, all of your uh, keyframes like so, and change from spline to linear, and that's it. That's how you fix the overshot. This is called overshot because the plane is going back and going fast again. And that's it. That's about it. That's all you need to do over here. So just uh, hide. Uh, oh, you actually will do this later. Anyway, uh, select uh, a null object, right click, Cinema 4D tags, and add Expresso tag. Now here is the tricky part, guys. This is going to be the hard parts over here. And not them. They're not not the hard. So don't don't worry. So the first thing you want to do is go to Custom and add uh, Expresso pole, and you want to open System pr uh, preset and just drag Time Control, like so. Close it. And now you want to go to your timeline and change it to minus two, like so. All right, looking good, looking good. Let's make this happen. And select your uh, time control and change the time, uh, the star, to minus one and the uh, stop to minus, uh, sorry, minus one for the star and minus one also for the stop. All right. Now, right-click on your uh, Expresso editor, a uh, new node, uh, think in particles, and we need TP generator P emitter waves. All right, that looks good. And now you wanna click on the left part of the meter waves. Click once and add on. Just connect them between the pole. And uh, and the on, just click and drag, like so. All right. Now, if you select the emit uh, the meter waves, it says here object. So, what does that mean? I'm gonna try to explain for you, Expresso guys. So, uh, please don't think I'm just talking shit over here. I was just wasting time. I'm trying to explain for you stuff. So, in the future. This is gonna help you with your project if you wanna create some some of these effects. So don't be stupid like these two two days ago. Some some idiot came and said in my videos that I uh, explain a lot. What the fuck you explain a lot? That's how people learn. If you don't like it, then go ch watch another tutorial or something. But yeah, anyway. So what does that mean? This uh, meter waves you use object to emit uh, particles. So it says here uh, parameter. It says object. So we're gonna drag our move text, which is gonna the one who emit uh, particles for us, and we want to change the birth type to shot. So it's gonna be shooting like it's gonna be one shot of let's say like the example uh, in my channel which is 1 million actually 1 million 200 uh, not 1 million 100,000 particles in this project I went over the limit I guess uh, so y you can do it with count rate whatever but in this the one my video I did shot and if you set it to one million it's gonna be so heavy in your editor view so just set it to for example 20,000 alright just for the sake of this tutorial set it to 20,000 and before you finish the final render or before you do, uh, do the final render just take it back to one million so you know you can just because it's the, it'll be easy for you to work with uh, so shot tw uh, 20,000 and particles life uh, our timeline is set to 300 so let's change it and make it uh, actually let's make it 300 and 2 because we have here minus uh, 2 on the left side so it's gonna start from minus and we don't need speed kill the speed make it 0 or if you want some speed, you can put like you know you can play with these values and see what you can what you can get. And uh, yep, that's about it. That's for the meter waves we get. 
and now we want to add uh, a group so we want two groups so we go to custom then compartical setting and click on all right click add again right click and add now the first group you can change the color so you don't get confused between them or, as, or actually so you can see uh, the effect so the first one I'm gonna make it blue and the second one I'm just gonna keep it oh actually let's change it red for fuck's sake who gives a shit let's make it red anyway let's rewind let's hide our text now alright and let's hit play nothing happened alright now let's right click a new node Tinker particles uh, TP standard P group now P group is looking for a, a particles group so the first one we're gonna add group 1 alright now we connect them particles birth to group 1 like so and if I play to you you can see it's blue our first group alright now if I hit play still nothing happened alright we finished from the first uh, our first node let's go to the second one now right click a new node oh, actually we need uh, a pass so right click a new node thinking particles uh, TP P pass now P pass says alright I want a group so that we're gonna add group 1 like so and what we're gonna need is to make a, a switch or actually to have some dynamic going on so what we need uh, what we wanna make is make this uh, this plane when it hit our text it change it to the second particles and start you know uh, getting some dynamics with particles so what you need to do is right click new node think in particles TP dynamic and we want P deflector now P deflector is asking us you want to use what object so I can uh, what object you want me to add uh, the dynamic to so we're gonna select our plane and we're just gonna make it editable again select deflector and drag the plane and you want to change the deflector type to object because what we have is object and you want to change the collision type to two sides and you want to check event like so now you want to uh, connect the group one with a plane like so and you want to click on the left and the right side of the d P deflector and add event like so now right click a new node think in particles particle uh, TP standard P group now P group we're gonna add group 2 to it like so alright and now we're gonna connect group 1 with a group 2 like so and we're gonna connect the event so you can see it right now so if we right click on the deflector uh, ports show names now we have them so we're gonna connect the event to the group uh, actually no um, select the second group and click on the left side and add on and now we can connect alright let's do it again and let's right click on it ports name so we can see the names alright let's switch them alright so group 1 with a group 2 like so and event with on this, these are tricky sometimes piss me off alright let's see uh, 